Well, hello, beautiful souls. I hope you're doing amazing. Um, this is going to be your collective reading. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be about. I don't know if it's going to be love, career, or what it is going to be. So we just tap into the energies and see what spirit has for all of us or what's going on. Um, I'm going to use the energy oracle this time and then clarify with, uh, I can't think of what this is called. It's the, the, the shiny, the shiny one, the golden, I want to say, I don't know. So please remember, this is a general reading. If it doesn't fit, don't make it. You don't want those problems. Uh, also, this it won't it's, you know it won't be for everyone. If you need a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Links in the description box below. Okay, guys. So I am Spirit. What do you have for the collective? Okay, I'm gonna lay these cards down and then we'll get started. I'm gonna pick them up one by one as we go interesting it's about love i feel like that's what all of them have been about yep so far you know something is starting here something is starting i definitely feel that what's starting here we don't know I will say this though, underneath the deck, the two cards that jumped out at me, ooh, three. I'm gonna take all three. Uh, we have happy family, we have community, and we have victory. So this tells me, um, this is either about falling in love with a friend, some hard work that you have put into a relationship is now coming together, finally, for some of you. Um, it almost feels like to me that this was worked out a long time ago, whether you know it or not. But there was some fine tuning that had to be done in order to create some stability here. That's exactly what it feels like to me. Maybe like a third party or some family. Um, or even the changing of old ways. It could have been that as well. But it's almost like you had to find each other and someone had to accept what was found here. Okay. So let's get into the reading. I'm going to start with the past. In the past, we have patience. This card is about divine timing. It tells me that you've been waiting on this to come around for a long time or waiting for something to come around. This is like wanting your happiness, wanting your joy, waiting for it to happen, not understanding why it's not. Not understanding divine timing, not understanding why this doesn't seem to happen for you. I'm going to do these in all upright, actually. Yeah, this is waiting for a risk to be taken. You know, this is like, actually, I'm going to keep these in reverse. Ugh. Okay, so this is like waiting on someone to make a judgment, waiting for someone to open up, answer the call, doing the hard work while waiting on this to happen, putting in time and effort. It looks like some of you have decided to work on your own thing and kind of just like set this to the side. Yeah, I feel like you're not going to take any risk. You're waiting for someone else to take risks. And you're going to continue doing what it is that you're doing and working on things. It looks to me like divine timing plays a bigger part in this or a bigger role in this than you think it does. Yeah, divine timing, especially with patience and the judgment card, it's not really up to you, it feels like, guys. Whatever this is, it's like you're waiting on someone else to make a call or a judgment. The thing is, this is a person that sees what they need to see. Sorry, this car has fallen. If you know anything about me, you know that I drop cards every five seconds. Yeah, this is a person that's either been holding on to the knowledge that they're clear on and not making the move. Or, you know, you know what I honestly get? I honestly get that this person is waiting to walk into this energy. 
once they walk into it, it's like they're going to be fully involved in whatever this is. And they're fully clear on that. I, I It almost gives me that energy like it's going to overtake them. And they know that it is. They know that it's going to be the new way, the new norm. Because I feel like I've been saying that a lot in the in these readings. Yeah, so they're deciding to kind of push this out in the cold. I almost feel like this is going to stop, though. Because it's only going to last for so long with this card. This is them trying to stop change from happening. You can't stop change from happening. Okay. All right. So the current situation is strategy and the seven of swords fell out. This tells me that this is a person that's trying to get away. They're trying to keep balance and... and, and it's almost like this person does want to start a new beginning, but at the same time, they want to be in control of everything. So they're either trying to sneak in or out of a situation. Um, they're trying to use their smarts, their wits or whatever about them. This is a person that is afraid of change as well. So that's why they're trying to do everything in a slick like manner. So you can't like see, you can't you know, it almost, and it makes you feel as though you're being lied to or cheated and you want to walk away. Not only do you want to walk away from this, you want to walk away from this situation. It's taken a lot of energy and a lot of time and it's kind of repetitive. It's one of those energies where you're trying to fight, stay relevant to this person or they're trying to fight, stay relevant to you, but it's just too much. Okay. It's just too much. You can get into the point where it's too much. And you want change to happen here. What's getting in your way? Anxiety. Um, I feel like it's the other person's energy, to be completely honest with you. They're worried about what's going to happen. I feel like the change, the idea of change and the idea that this is going to be the new norm. Like this is how you're going to be doing this. This is how it's going to happen. Okay. Yeah. Ace of Swords. The Hermit. And the hair font. This is a person that. This is a person that set their own rules for a very long time. And this is going to make them rethink their lives. Almost like they know they're going to have to integrate you into this space. And um, they really got to think about it. You know, they're trying to think of a way. To be slick. Think of a way to work this out. Think of a way that this can work for them and and have you, you know, like that kind of energy. Um, you know, they have been trying to figure out how to keep their own way, their own strategy, their own mindset, and also have this at the same time. It doesn't seem to be working. I do feel like this is a person that is fighting change and they're worried about what it means for them in the future honestly um both of you have a connection really really deep for some of you you may be connected by friends or family or work or something of that nature something that you truly care about something that you don't want to mess up okay either between you or them and this new beginning would create different foundations you know also they know that you would take up a lot of their time and effort and energy you know, they care about you. Absolutely, they care about you. It's something I'm hearing about your conversations. It's something about your conversations and the way you talk that makes them interested. It makes them interested. It makes them want to connect with you more in the future. It makes them want to be around you a lot more than they are. Um... They do know that this will start a new beginning for them. They do know that it's going to be forever. And I keep getting this energy of knowing that it will be forever or long term. And that makes them, it's like, do I want this in my future? Am I willing to put in the effort and I'm really to put in that energy? But with care and connections, this is something that cannot be confused. You know? The passion is for you. The connection is for you. The thoughts are for you. Okay. Right now, contract. 
this is either you or them finishing up old issues, old karmic situations, okay? Um, finishing things out that needed to be closed, old mindsets, old things that you don't want to see, old situations. You know, it's got to be, it's got to be fixed, got to be resolved here. We have the Empress, the Seven of Cups, and the King of Cups, yeah. The Empress tells me that they know what they have. That's not the problem. They know what they can handle and they want to handle you, okay? On the bottom of the deck, they told me to look at that. There's the Knight of Swords. There's communication. So something's coming in to them really fast. It could be the holidays. It could be doing the final touches on exams or whatever's going on in their life right now. And they have a lot. There's like a lot of things I feel like that they're trying to deal with or come to grips with here. They understand um, that they're missing out on something amazing, though. Okay? That's you. That's your energy. Okay? And whatever all this is, is taking them away from you. Okay? The love that they have for you with the King of Cups is still there. It's not a problem. They're just controlling it right now. I feel like with that one cup in his hand, it's like you are very important. You are that cup. However, he knows how to handle his emotions while he deals with all those other cups, okay? But there's still that energy of wanting to be with you. There's still that energy of wanting to be around you. They're telling me to pull two more cards, so that's what I'm going to do. There's one. Oh, yeah. Obsession. Obsession with the devil card, okay? Also, other things that need to be resolved in their life, okay? I get both energies from that. The thing is, I feel like they want to start this new beginning, this future new beginning that's going to be real and good and perfect at a like a clean slate. It's like, I need to do what I need to do here so I can do what I need to do over here with you, okay? So that's what I feel like is going on there. Yeah, they're almost done with whatever it is. It's just taking a long time. Okay, so in the near future, we have all tied up. Yeah, responsibilities. I feel like they had to make they have to make decisions for what to do moving forward. And right now they got things they need to handle. Six of Pentacles. Ooh. Ooh, they having me pull out. 50 billion cards. Okay. I get the energy in the world. Okay. I'm going to pull these out for a second. Talk about them. Put them back in the deck and then see what comes out. Because they just came flying out the deck. Okay. So we have the Six of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. The Death. Okay. The, ju the Justice. The Five of Wands and the World card. I'm going to tell you exactly what I see here. Okay. Especially with all tied up. Okay. They have something they need to give their time and energy to right now. Okay. Um, I do feel like they're going to put you in there a little bit. They're going to give you enough, not too many, not too much. Because with the King of uh, Pentacles, they got things they need to do. Okay. Things they need to hold on to. They're trying to transform themselves, especially with this card here. Um, there's a lot of transformation going on within them so they can be better on the outside. I don't know how to explain that, but it's all for good. It's all for good. It's not for bad. Okay. It's all to work things out right now. It's creating a lot of conflict within you or within getting this situation together and to some completion. However, what you do need to know is that when it is completed, it's going to start a whole new cycle here. Whether with or without this person, it just depends on how you're going to hold up during this. But right now, there's nothing much that you can do. I will say that the, your best approach right now is dealing with your own life. This person's doing the same thing as you're doing. Um, I, I get two vibes here. I get one vibe that you're dealing with your life and they feel the need to deal with theirs okay i also get the vibe that you want to focus on them but that's not the best thing to do so now you're focusing on yourself yeah this is about thinking of your future how you want to expand 
and finding finding a way to deal with conflict. Some of you are dealing with your own conflict, which is why you have to, you know, get your own life together. But I feel like working on yourself is your best approach here. Yep. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the Emperor. So yeah, you're working on yourself. Working on yourself really helps push this along in a way where it helps build up your confidence, you know, because it's going to make you feel like you're more in control. And that's what that's where you need to be right now. You need a focus that is in your hand and not something that's going to be back and forth. And you are the focus that that needs to be. In your environment, we have the fifth chakra beautiful i feel like this is a person that's going to express themselves to you i feel like that's what's going to happen i feel like this person's going to tell you something i do i don't know why but i feel like it is i feel like the journey is going to start here shortly i really do yeah building up strength five of pentacles yep they're telling me to pull one more Someone's going to miss you here. Yeah. Someone's going to be trapped by their own desires and wants here. It's, it's going to take havoc on them. You know, how much can you ignore what it is that you want? They're burning to say something. They're burning to make something happen. Okay. That's what I get there. What's interesting is they have, you know, it's about ego. It's about them waiting on you. It's about them making you feel like they're leaving you out in the cold. So you're going to say something. Okay. That's not what's going to happen, actually. Um, it, it, they feel like it'll make them feel good if you came towards them. However, this is burning in them. This is a queen. This is the king. Okay. So this is what they want you to feel. They want you to come towards them like the wolf, like you really want them. However, this in them is burning, okay? They know what they want 110% and all this is just within them just trapped. Let me see what's gonna come out of that. We have the Four of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Mm. It's like they're holding on to this knowledge. But what's interesting is they don't want to let you go. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. This is like knowing that someone, that they don't want to lose out. And then this offer comes. The offer comes. Yeah, the offer comes. It's one of those things where I feel like there's a choice. Um... It's like they've been hanging around, seeing if something is changing, trying to change their perspective, but their happiness is there. And they know what it is that they want. They know what it is that they desire to happen. Yeah, they're going to make it happen. Eventually, it's going to burn a hole, you know? It's kind of like them being hard-headed, thinking that it's going to change it, made it worse <laughs> for them. And it's just going to change everything, okay? So hopes and fears, we have door to value. This is you hoping that it's going to be something that's worth, that was worth the time and effort, you know? Um, yeah, you're hoping that you holding on uh, was for the right reason. You're tired of being the mediator. You're tired of waiting for things to change. Um, yeah, hoping that things got better while you had to wait. That's all that I'm getting from that. So in your outcome, we have journey, which is beautiful. I feel like the decision is going to be made. Some of you, it's going to be to walk away. Some of you, it's going to be to go towards this person. It just depends. 
Ten of Cups, you're going to be happy though. Emotionally happy with your choice and your decisions. Yeah. Some of you are going to be single. Some of you are going to feel good. Whatever it is, it's going to move you toward the direction that you were supposed to go. Okay. Some of you have different outcomes, I get. But it's definitely moving you towards what it is that you want. Um, a lot of you need to assess what happiness truly is. Okay. Because a lot of you are waiting on this to happen. For some of you, because I feel like with the magician card, it can happen either way. Like this is a person utilizing their decisions. Like, are they going to take the decision? Are they not going to take the decision? What are they going to do? There's an opportunity for this Knight of Cups to come through. Okay. But it could be fickle. It could be like one day they feel like they're going to do it. The next day they don't, you know. Um, so this is a time to assess your happiness in the situation and move towards that direction of what it is that you want to do. So that's really what the outcome is here. But we are going to, oh, look, Ace of Cups, because there's an opportunity for love. It just needs to be taken. Yeah. Communication, the end of waiting. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So um, for you Patreons out there, we are going to do, of course, you know, I do one side being uh, two sides. <laughs> you are on this side. They're on this side. Top row is uh, their mind, their heart, and then their next actions, okay? And then I'm going to pull some oracle cards. So we're going to dive on right in there. So um, hopefully I'll see you over there. If not, that's cool too. I'll see you later. Love you. Bye-bye.